welcome back to another cloth diaper video. Yesterday, I received, this just happened to work out this way, two of my cloth diaper orders and I just was excited and I wanna film how they look and what I ordered and just show you. And then once I'm done filming this, I'm gonna wash them, give them a try, and then I will film my experience of using them. Specifically, what I'm gonna show in today's video is I purchased the Pokoloki order from South Africa for the final size, like the, the large ones for when she outgrows the current diapers that she's using. So that arrived from South Africa. But I kept getting asked for recommendations of people in Canada who want to support local Canadian diaper companies. And I don't really like recommending something simply based off of what I've read about it. I do prefer to recommend something that I actually tried. So I was telling people, oh, if I was gonna buy diapers, I would buy these ones. And then I just thought, no, okay, let me just buy them and see how I experience them. And if I will continue to say, hey, these are good ones. So today we're looking at diapers that I got from here in Canada and diapers that I had shipped here from South Africa. First up, the Canadian diapers, just because I was so excited and I already opened them, but I did save like super opening them for this video, but I did open the package because I was excited. So I ordered these from a company called Cloth Diaper Kids. They are a small business and they are, I think they're actually based here in Calgary, but I ordered it online and it was delivered. Delivery was super fast, so that was great. And the other reason why I purchased these diapers is I've been eyeing them for a while. And when I went to go look, when again, I wanted to tell someone, hey, these are the ones that I would possibly buy, they were on sale. So I'm going to link down below the companies that I purchased these diapers from if you wanna have a look at them. Right, all of the ones I bought from them, that company specifically sells a whole lot of different types of cloth diapers, different types of cloth diaper accessories, but everything I purchased is from the same brand. So the brand of stuff that I purchased is, hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly, is Assembly, E-S-E-M-B-L-Y. So before I show the diapers, I'm gonna show something else. One of the, it's not a struggle, but one of the things that I haven't quite figured out yet is how do I wanna carry around the diapers that I take out? So typically what I use is a tote bag with all the clean diapers in, and then I take wet bags for the dirty diapers. And that works fine but it's not like the perfect system. So when I was shopping for the diapers, I saw... <laughs> anyway, it's also from Assembly and you can pick the design of the bag. Essentially it is like a tote bag. It's got a strap here and then it has two compartments. So this compartment and then a front one that closes me and press studs and the front compartment and then each compartment can also close with a drawstring. You put, I'm guessing, clean diapers in the back, dirty diapers in the front, and it's a bag. Also, this is a nice size for me. So I do take out quite a few diapers just in case, you never know. When I go out, so this, anything smaller would be a bit irritating for me and anything bigger would also not work for me. So I'm gonna give this a try and I will report back on whether or not I find this to be of practical use for my cloth diapering journey. All right, next up, the diapers. So if you've watched any of my other videos, the system that I currently use is, because I don't like the pockets and I don't like the all-in-ones, the system I currently use is flats and fitted with a cover over. These diapers are a similar system to that. So I bought them in packs of three and I bought two packs. This is the inner part and it, I would refer to it, I guess, as a fitted, but what makes it slightly different from the fitted that I currently use and the newborn fitted that I used is the fitted I have, firstly, Velcro, these are press studs. The fitted I have don't have anything inside and then you boost them with however many boosters you want. These ones have their inners attached to the diaper itself. Practically, in terms of washing diapers, I've liked that the fitted ones are loose because then they fly around the washing machine and they get nice and clean. But then also it does take like slightly longer to prep. I haven't found that to be a major inconvenience because that's all I know. I will see whether this firstly washes out nicely, like everything comes clean and is nice and absorbent and you know, things don't get like sort of 
stuck in between these crevices that are attached to the diaper because yeah, it will be more convenient because I don't have to prep anything. You just wash this whole thing as is and close it up and then you put a cover over it. I would deem this to be like an all-in-one fitted if that's a diaper type. What I'm super, super excited about with these ones is, I said this in many of my videos, I'm quite particular about what touches all the skin and I like to go organic, I like to go pure sort of cotton or bamboo or wool or anything that's very pure in that regard and try to stay away from the plastics. But I also recognize that that is not always the most practical or cost effective thing to do. What I do love about these though, is that they are organic cotton. So the entire part that is touching her is an organic cotton inner. And I'm pretty excited about that. One thing I will say in terms of a thing for me is I do find diapering with press studs a bit irritating. I prefer Velcro, even though press studs, I think in the long run probably hold better as in like your diapers have a longer life. Life? Yeah, your diapers have a longer life. If they have press studs versus Velcro, but with elimination communication and how many times a day I'm taking a diaper off, sometimes press studs are not my preference. It looks like these will be Okay, but I'm gonna report back after I've used them whether I find it to be a major deterrent for me. They only have two that clip in, so that's not too bad. Two on that side and two on this side. And the little bit that I've been playing with it here is not too bad, but let me use them and get back to you on that. So similar with the ones that I'm using right now is you put a cover over it. I bought six inners in total because they came in packs of three and two covers. First cover, I, I really like these designs. So most of my diapers are pretty plain and that's because I like, I mean, you can see how I dress. I like things that are very gender neutral, very plain, but I thought, hey, let's spice it up a little and get some patterned ones. This is the same pattern as the bag. They have a variety of other ones. Again, press studs, not Velcro. And it's really just a shell. There's something special about this shell. I don't think. I'm obviously going to use them as is, but I don't think that there's a problem with mixing and matching various shells over this. I do know that some people use pockets shells for fitted, for example, and then they just don't put anything in the pocket. These are not pockets. They don't have, don't they? Yeah, they don't have a pocket or anything to put in here. The covers that I currently have have like a fleeced liner at the top as well. So we're gonna see how the absorbencies of these work versus those. And I'll do a comparison of the, the different covers and what my experience is. And then this is the other sweet little design that we've got. One of my qualms, I guess, but it, it doesn't matter that much when it's covers, which is why I think I don't like the pockets or the all-in-ones when it's like the cover is also the diaper because sometimes the fits on covers are just not as good as the fits on the diaper. So when you're doing this system, the fit around the leg really isn't that important relative to if your system is the entire diaper is that one thing. I'm also gonna report back on how I experienced the leg fit to be. I did not purchase their newborn size, a friend of mine did. So I can't speak to the size before this, but with these, comparing it to what I'm gonna show you next, the Pokoloki ones, the Pokoloki ones, I've purchased three different sizes, newborn, medium, and then the ones that I'm going to unbox today are the large size. This brand, Assembly, comes in their size one and their size two. I purchased size two, which runs from eight kgs to 16 kgs or 18 to 35 pounds. Elba hit eight kgs, I think just before she turned five months old, around around that time. So if that gives you an indication, because their size one will go up to eight kgs. So their size one, I don't know how well it fits on a small baby, so I can't speak to that, but I do think they will fit quite long relative to other typically newborn size diapers, which is something quite nice when you're sort of factoring in how long you're gonna use them and the cost effectiveness thereof. And that is the assembly ones that I'm gonna give a try and then report back to you. Like I said, purchase them on sale. Packs of three, six of them and two covers. So my intention is the same way I do with the Pokoloki ones is I rotate the covers 
through the day and then I wash them at the end of the day. These ones, the inners only come in one color, but I mean, who really cares what color your inner is because you don't see it. Uh, I do like the light color inners just so that I can inspect output because I, I do that. I am now going to unbox because I didn't even open the box. That took a lot of restraint on my behalf. The Pokaloki order that has come from South Africa. All right, let's do this. So for these, because they came from South Africa, I did have to pay some uh, import duty things to get them. I think at the end it was like 21 Canadian dollars or something that I had to pay up and above the order, which is not that bad. With the ones I ordered in Canada, shipping was free, but these ones I did pay a bit in shipping. That all being said, I don't mind sharing what I've paid for everything just to give you a perspective of that. So I will put that on the screen at some point in this video because I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, so here we have our box. Okay, first up, because I've used this brand since newborn, a lot, of, like, a lot of this is not new to me, but what I did say in my other videos is I have purchased something that is new to me and that I haven't used yet. I'm excited to show that, but let's start with something that is not new to me. The siesta night nappy. This has been awesome. I have, you don't get a siesta night nappy for newborn. It's, it's not necessary. So for the medium size, the current size, we use siesta night nappies. This is the large size siesta night nappy. So this is what we currently have. Just now I get a bigger one. So night nappy, night nappy. I'm gonna show these in a moment. I'm gonna get to all that. Another night nappy. So yeah, I think I only ordered four night nappies because we typically use one or two in a night. According to my wash routine, I've not felt that I needed more night nappies. So when Elba outgrows her current size of night nappy, we will be using these ones. These get a cover over them. The covers that I have are one size fits most. So I had newborn covers and then one size fits most and I intend to use them with these. I don't think that I purchased any more covers. I will have a look, but I, I don't remember purchasing more covers. I don't think I need, I have eight in total. Okay, before I get to the new stuff, I wanna show what I ordered that is not new and then I'm gonna get to the new stuff. All right, so I use flats. Like I said, flats and fitted. These are my new flats. I currently have a few large flats that came secondhand with ones that I purchased. So I use them now even, but I use them like to throw on the bed and as bump towels and so forth. So I just have a couple of large flats that came in this order. They are blue and they are this color. So these are many flats that I ordered. I will say how many on the screen because there's a lot of them at the bottom there. Okay, so now the new thing that I purchased. It looks like I just purchased a cover. That is not what I did. I purchased, they're called the Snap It Pro. So they look like the, the covers I've been using, except they have little press studs over here. Instead of the fitted, I am now going to try the new system. And I bought a lot of it, so I hope it works for me. <laughs> so the new system is, they look like this. And you can open them up, close them up again, and you take your cover and you snap them to the cover and then it goes like that see there's more elements to it you can boost them these are boosters that I purchased and you can add the fleece as well so these go from 6 to 20 kgs and I got them in various colors so I got them in this rusty color this mustard color blue and I would say like a oatmeal color. And then the rest of what's in here is just a whole bunch of flats. All right, let me quickly see if all of these are the Snap It. Um, probably should have got them in a different color to my covers because all well, my covers and my Snap It are the same. I seem to not be that good at like being practical about the colors of my diapers because I did that whole thing where I bought my small and medium size flats in the same color. It doesn't seem like I ordered more covers, but I don't think I needed them. So this Snap It is going to be the new system that I'm going to use alongside the flats that I will fold in my usual way. And as you can see, I got quite a lot of them. And when you boost them, I did briefly watch the video on the website. I'm gonna link that down below if you wanna see how they work. 
and not have to take my word for it. The company Fokoloki, the owner is incredibly helpful, like super helpful, but they also have a lot of resources on their website that are very helpful. So my understanding is when you wanna boost more, you take one of your boosters and you put it at the bottom and then you put that over and then you put the fleece liner on top is my understanding of how that goes. These are more boosters that I purchased, but I also am still using my newborn boosters and I still have other boosters as well from my fitted that even if I stop using the fitted, I will use the fitted boosters if necessary along with any of this. And those are my new cloth diapers which I'm very excited about. Because these snap -its technically will fit now already, I guess I can start using them now already. The idea was to use them when Elba outgrows her current ones, but I guess I could just start now. See, because these are all new, I'm gonna go wash them and then I'm gonna use them and then I'm gonna see you in my next cloth diaper video where I'm going to give some feedback on my experience with these two different cloth diaper types. You are welcome to let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions on the cloth diapers that I'm using to help you to make a decision or if you have a completely different experience from mine. You can also comment that down below. Maybe it's helpful for other people watching this video. So anyway, thank you for joining me for another cloth diaper video and I will see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe and like this video if you like this video.